my name is Liana and today I'll be showing you a cool science experiment that you guys can do from home. Today we're going to be doing paper chromatography. So all you need for this are some cups with a little bit of water in them, different colored markers, and then you're going to take those markers and you're going to color them onto coffee filters in a circle, just like this. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our coffee filters that we've colored on and we're just going to fold them up. So I've folded it in half and now I've quartered it and we're going to fold it again in half and maybe one more time just for good luck. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my coffee filters and then I'll be right back. All right, our next step now that we've got all of our folded coffee filters is we're gonna take them and we're just gonna put them in the water. We're just gonna dip them in there. And as you can see with the purple one, the water will start to come into the coffee filter through a process called capillary action. And it will diffuse the colors so that you can see all of the different pigments that make up that color. Uh, now, capillary action happens because of two things, cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is, water, is a property that water has. Uh, it has the tendency to stick together, basically, um, each of those individual molecules, and we call that cohesion. Adhesion is the property of water that allows it to stick to other materials. And cohesion and adhesion together allow water to climb up through our coffee filter despite gravity wanting to pull the water down and so now we're going to give that a couple minutes and i will come back to you with the final results all right guys it's time for our final results as you guys can see we definitely have some more um, color on our coffee filters than we did in the beginning i think the most notable coffee filter to point out is this gray one right here I only used a gray marker on this coffee filter and as you can see we've got some greenish blue pigment up top and we've got some pinkish pigments down at the bottom. On our green coffee filter we've got some yellowish pigment towards the top and on our purple coffee filter we've got some pinkish pigment towards the top. Now our red, pink, and blue coffee filters didn't change too much but you can still see the capillary action taking place in this um, those examples. Now some extension activities that you can do with this is you can vary your water temperature, see if that causes the capillary action to happen faster or slower depending on the temperature that you have. You can use different colors, you can try different marker brands, um, different types of markers. So I use uh, Crayola washable markers for this. You can use Sharpies, permanent markers, Expo markers, felt tip markers, uh, whatever you guys have around the house and try and experiment, see what things work best, what things work differently, and maybe make some predictions as to why that stuff is happening. Now, lastly, another really cool extension that you can do with this is you can actually do this with leaves. So you can take some leaves from outside and you can crush them up, put them into your water cup, fold up your coffee filter just the same, put that in, then you'll see the chlorophyll, the green chlorophyll that is within the leaves, that gives the leaves their green color. That will happen with capillary action and you'll see that chlorophyll leave the leaves and it'll go up through our coffee filters just like that happened here. Um, now you may not just see green, you may see some yellowish colors, some orangish colors, um, type of leaf colors that you see in the fall or the winter. Um, but definitely a really cool activity that you guys can do at home doesn't take very many materials. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.